So I've finally got the counterflow chiller set up. I'm just testing it out here. Here we have the, the water in, coming through a massive long hose pipe. Maybe tap so I can control the flow into the counterflow chiller. Now the water will run up through here, wiggly, 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 squiggly, and out here. So this will be the water waste, as it were, although I will use that for cleaning. And I'm catching it into my mash tun at the moment to fill it. So that would be the hot water outlet and the cold water inlet. Now at the same time, I'm going to pump wort from my pump through into the chiller, counter flow, back down, hot wort in, cold wort out. And obviously testing this with water, I just want to catch that for now. So anyway, now we have enough water in the mash tun. Let's turn it on. And let's go down here. And turn the pump on. Here we go. Okay, it's all on. Going through the counter chiller. And we have a result. Oh, there's a drip. Okay, so here we are losing a drip of what would be my beer. So, we a second hose clamp on there. On the on the out looks looks a bit damp. Maybe that's okay. Yeah. Okay. One more hose clamp. Brilliant. And there we are. The uh, second hose clamp. Now, I didn't have a uh, 10 to 16 mil clamp, I only had a 5 8 which has just about done the job. It's not really focusing on it there, but just about done the job there to stop that drip, which is the important drip because that's uh, beer. Um, we do have a small leak on the water inlet. Um, when I turn the tap off, there is a leak. Now, uh, let's turn this pump off. Stop the noise there. We do have a small leak here now. We've got a push fitting going into a compression joint into a hose lock. I imagine it's the hose lock. They are rubbish. Um, but all I have is a garden tap to get my water inlet from at the moment. So... One small drip of water is not that bad. And there we go. That will be my counterflow chiller. Let's just have a quick look at what I used to use. Uh, ignore that. I don't know what that is. Right. Here is what we used to have going on. So we would put water through this. This would be submerged into the beer or the wort. And uh, we would send cold water through it, and that would cool the beer down. But I never managed to get it uh, below 40 degrees centigrade um, quick enough. I didn't get a good cold break. I was getting a lot of proteins and trub still put into the fermenter. So the idea is, with this new system, is we can get the wort cooler quicker. We can get the particles of protein to fall out of suspension and uh, lay on the bottom of this um, uh, mash tun. Maybe. We'll see. And so one final time to show that the uh, dry one will work 
wet as it were let's cool that beer so let's have the cold water sorry lefty lucy on cold water going up through coming out there catching that as hot that will be hot water um, we'll use for cleaning later so let's uh how are we going to approach this and the counter flow so this is full of beer right now well it will be we'll turn the pump on the pump is down there the whole inlet for the beer it's coming up this uh, pipe coming down here into this tube which will be flowing into here counter flowing along doo -doo 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 -doo, and out there into the fermentation vessel well, I'm just using a bucket oh that's filling up quite quickly that I can really see quite a lot of water in there so we can uh, stem the flow it's off and then a little bit on of the wort and we can definitely stem the flow of the water a little bit too much maybe so we should be able to get this from well boiling to 20 degrees pitching yeast temperature within um, 20 minutes rather than four hours, eh? Rather than four hours.